David, uh, clean sheet away win. That's, that's about as good as you can get at this stage of the season for your team. You're delighted with that. And the performance as well, obviously. Yeah, the one uh, thing are the numbers, yes, but the other thing is the performance. I think uh, it was another very, very good performance uh, away from home, like the first half against Borough, uh, or uh, first half an hour against Borough, uh, till we got the send off. Um, guys looked super sharp, uh, super solid defensively, super aggressive, uh, and with the ball, they played some wonderful football, scored great goals, had chances for more. They have a lot of confidence at the moment, uh, are brave on the ball as well. Everybody knows uh, what he has to do and likes to do, and uh, obviously, this is then why I'm absolutely delighted today, uh, what I've seen and uh, the shift which the players brought on and second clean sheet in a row as well as you said um, it was a super good afternoon and, and is that confidence it's, it's evident there with the first two goals two goals in four minutes but the clinical nature of it right time for the pass good decision making excellent finishing as well that's the side we're very confident at the minute yeah absolutely and uh, to be fair I think that we are able to score goals I think uh, we've known this uh, more or less from the beginning of the season um, but to consistently do it and to do it as well away from home uh, is always is always important at this stage of the season every win home or away uh, is super super important and uh, the players are in good form they 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 do um, enjoy playing football together they do enjoying fighting together for every inch and uh, try to keep the ball out of the net and this is exactly what they what they do now consistently home or away obviously away results were not uh, with so many wins like at home but performance wise i think consistently now in recent weeks or months uh, i can say and they've uh, done it on a very consistent and high level. I mean, you reference it there, maybe externally more was made of that away run. I think that's probably the second league win now um, away from home since, since, uh, since Bristol. Um, but internally, did you feel that was coming, that that type of away performance, dominant commanding was there? Yeah, again, I think performance-wise, we were very close and uh, results-wise, obviously, Let's be honest, we were able to win against Blockburn or against QPR, but we haven't done it. So, yes, we have to raise our hands that we don't have done it. And we didn't uh, put the games to bed. Today we've done it. Obviously, last away game against Borough, the, the referee was in our way uh, as well in this moment. Or this decision uh, can happen. Uh, the most important thing is how we react to it and uh, to react uh, after this experiences. Uh, against Borough with a home win and a away win, two clean sheets, you can't ask for more. Uh, I know, it's immediately after the game. Could you just clear up uh, Lungi, what, what you did there? Was it the concussion? Or? Yeah, Lungi was uh, sick in the last couple of days and uh, this uh, was where the, he then ran out of energy and uh, this is why we made this sub. Obviously, Josh still has an ice pack on his ankle, he got another kick uh, or, or twist, um, it's quite sore. But luckily, he was as well able to score for us today. We have to for sure assess him. And obviously, Grant Henley was not in the squad, as you know. Um, with him, we had a longer conversation uh, because obviously he is fit. Uh, we've seen this. He, he, he played uh, more than, I don't know how many, 90 minutes games he now played. But um, we all together agreed he myself and the fitness and medical department uh, to pull him out of, of the team training because he is not as explosive and as sharp as he was when he was on his best and uh, he is a very physical centre half. If he is physically on his best then he is one of the best or the best in the, in, in the division and uh, we have to make sure and he he, he feels the same uh, to get him back to this and uh, for this we said uh, we pull him out of team training. We have to give him a proper individual program in the next couple of weeks or how, how long it will take to get him back to this. Uh, obviously, we all together know it was a very serious injury and uh, it takes time, even if we are happy that his Achilles, everything is fine, but we have to get him back to this uh, explosive, sharp 
Grant Hanley, which he was before his injury. So just to clarify on that, then, because he obviously did get called up to Scotland, he won't go away with Scotland, he'll stay at yeah, Norwich? No, no, I think uh, this is impossible because uh, we all together know uh, what, his, what now is best for him and Hopefully, um, yeah, we get him back. We have now to make sure we have to put the program together. We have to support him to get him back to this um, sharpness, and explosiveness uh, which he had before. Appreciate it. just after the game, but you did reference Josh there, and, and maybe just managing that ankle again at the moment. He is another one who has potentially some international games. Will you have to assess that with a view to whether he goes away with the US? Yeah, for sure. We have to. Uh, we, to be fair, we assess his ankle more or less uh, every every weekend and then we have to try to put a plan together how we can get him ready that he can play so he has now since he's back he had not one week of full team training this is a, a big issue a big problem he is a super fit guy in general his uh, whole body uh, shape is top this is why he can tolerate it but uh, we have to come to a solution where we can't continue doing this uh, till the end of the season. And obviously now it's uh, first and foremost to assess this angle. Uh, perfect way, obviously, to, to, to pause the league campaign our two weeks international break. Did, did it feel a big afternoon in the bigger picture? I know you, you're very keen to stress we win. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. But the fact that Coventry and Hull weren't playing today, you knew a win today puts you three points ahead of the chasing pack. Yeah, but it's exactly... Uh, like I said, if as long as we win, I don't care about the others. And uh, this is how we continue. The fact is that the players are in a very good mood, very confident, uh, perform on a very high level consistently. Now, offensively, they fight for each other. Uh, offensively, they, they play football with each other. Defensively, they fight for each other. It, uh, it looks good. It absolutely does, but it's hard work, uh, what the players always uh, put in and uh, we as well uh, with them on the training pitch. So um, now it's important that everybody comes healthy back from the international international break. Some players will play on Monday in the under 21 as well because it's very important that everybody has uh, match fitness uh, when we attack the last eight games, maybe plus X. And uh, obviously, uh, then everyone tries to get a few days uh, where he recovers and then we attack and go for the Plymouth home game uh, as the next one. Yeah, just on a final point, just to, to draw draw that point out, does it feel now that a lot of hard work's gone in, the results and performances are there, you must feel there's momentum building. So these two weeks, navigate the internationals and then come back, final eight games in the regular season, one, one last push. Yeah, to be fair, I have the feeling longer than only uh, after today's game or results uh, or result. But the truth is, Nothing is achieved. Nothing is uh, done. So we, we, we as a team and, and uh, especially the players are in a good form. Uh, brought them in a position where I think uh, we can be exciting about the next uh, six weeks plus eight games um, plus X, and uh, it's not not more than this. Uh, everyone is. Still, still very hungry, very greedy, uh, and is looking forward to what will be in front of us in the next weeks. Thanks, Anybody else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.